morning, everyone. Welcome to our Monday morning meditation. Let's a little bit that sun off a little bit. Ah, so good to see you all here today, even if I'm only seeing your name. That's okay. Very good to have you here. I, I feel our collective energy together, and that's that's what is our support for today. So thank you. Um, I've been trying to formulate what I want to um, focus on, what is for us to focus on today. And um, I'm, I'm receiving some images more than words. So bear with me as I kind of chop through this um, in describing this today. You know, one of the images that came up in my own um, spiritual focus time this morning was how there's a situation going on in my life where I'm watching my own patterns, but I'm watching people in my world um, behaving like a school of fish where the flashy thing over here happens and the fish might be swimming this way, but as soon as that flashy thing on the outside happens, all the, the whole school is swimming the other direction. And I was just noticing this in my my mind's eye, if you will, this morning and thinking, wow, that's what I used to do too. I used to jump in and the pattern that I'm working on releasing within myself is jumping in and following the shiny, <laughs> flashy things on the outside as well. And, and how in situations on the outside that can happen where maybe we're jumping in where we don't need to be jumping in. Um, that's, I will raise my hand to that one or um, you know, or, or feeling frustrated watching a dynamic like that where everybody else is jumping in. It's like, what are you doing jumping in? You know, so I could be on either side of that and um, just just noticing that pattern and then taking, you know, if we're seeing it on the outside, it's happening on the inside as well. So, you know, then, then reflecting on that mm, pattern. I am hoping I'm making sense today, but anyway, <laughs> this is this is what it is. Um, you know, noticing that our thoughts are like that as well. Our thoughts jump into our, our attention, rather. Our attention jumps onto the shiny, flashy thought, the, the thought that has emotion around it, where whether it's a positive emotion or, or a, what we think of as a negative emotion, which they're all positive emotions if we're using them correctly. But, um, you know, where our mind goes to that emotional response, whatever it is, and then our thoughts and our attention follow along with that too, just like the school of fish following along the shiny, flashy thing on the outside. Um, and as I was watching this within myself this morning, I was thinking, gosh, I'm so grateful for meditation. I'm grateful to be able to see this pattern within myself. I'm grateful for meditation that um, that is the practice of learning how to not go after the shiny, flashy thing, but be able to see it and to be able to see all oh, those, those fish are going over a waterfall over there. <laughs> you know, nothing I can do about that. And there's nothing I have to do about that. But I don't want my own school of attention, <laughs> my, my attention fish to be swimming in all sorts of directions within myself, because it makes us, makes me scattered and then I'm not thinking clearly and so forth. And, and, you know, when we talked about the spiritual thermometer a couple of weeks ago, I believe, you know, that spiritual thermometer is a good visual kind of mixing images here from um, fish to spiritual thermometers, but to be able to, to see above that, to see above, oh, yep, yeah, here's all my thoughts and my emotional responses and you know, they're, they're loud and they're flashy and they're shiny, but I can be up here. I can be above that and I can watch those fish swimming around, but I don't have to swim after them. And that that's, you know, what our meditation time reinforces within us is that I don't have to, my attention doesn't have to swim around the flashy stuff. And when we're not swimming around in the water of our emotions, we're able to float above them and watch them and see them from a different standpoint you know that um in some there's a therapy methodology called um 
um, dialectical behavioral therapy and in, in that modality, that part of us that is able to watch everything is called the wise mind. We can call it my meditation teacher, my spiritual teacher calls it the observer self. Um, in Buddhism, I believe it's called the witness. And it's that part of us that is above all of the swimming around and above all of the flashy, shiny, emotional things, people, situations that we um, can be distracted by and bring ourselves back to that because there's that, that just like our calmness is our natural state. We've talked about in our Monday morning meditations before that that peacefulness is our natural state. And so is that part of us that can see what's going on, can see the fish swimming around, can see the flashy, shiny things about us without um, jumping into them and, and clouding up our clear thinking because our attention is here and then it's there. And then, you know, it's kind of fun to watch fish doing that where they're all racing around this direction and then all of a sudden everybody turns and <laughs> swimming the other direction. And, and my goodness, it's fun to watch from above, but to be in the midst of that and go, oh, okay, now I'm swimming this way. Now I'm swimming this way. It's just, ah, uh, it's confusing. It's draining. It's, um, um, you know, not, not our natural state for sure. So anyway, hope all that made sense. Maybe there's something that you can relate with in there somewhere but for our meditation time this morning i thought you know focusing on ah focusing on that um calm elevated state of mind where we can watch our thoughts we can watch our emotions without being pulled in by them and wow if that's what we're doing for ourselves we are giving ourselves a beautiful beautiful gift I like our breathing exercise where we are breathing pure air in, everything else out. This gives us a focus on um, focus for our center, focus for our buoyancy, <laughs> our emotional and mental buoyancy that lifts us above the fish and above the goings on of all the flashy things. So I invite you to get comfortable in your seat and just let your body melt into the space where you are. And I invite you to take a couple of deep breaths to further allow your body to relax, your mind to begin to quiet. Even if it doesn't quiet completely, it probably won't, but By noticing it, you are in charge instead of the busy thoughts being in charge of your attention, of your presence. And we let our breath return to its natural rate. We can allow that breath to come in and out by way of the diaphragm, by the movement of the belly, filling as you breathe in, releasing towards the spine as you breathe out. 
You don't have to continue with deep breaths, just natural. Your natural inhalation, exhalation. But from the belly. I invite you to find your center. Wherever in your body you feel that center, for me it's my heart. But wherever that grounded, peaceful feeling feels the strongest for you, It's just our starting point, our resting point. When you have found your center, whether it's in your, your heart center, your feet, your bottom in the chair, your back against the cushions, your hands in your lap, just let your attention rest there, like, like your mind is just sitting in that center. And it's the most comfortable chair ever that your mind gets to sit in in that center. And in the center, you can feel your breath relaxed, easy. And we remain here in the center as if we're sitting on a cloud and just letting the stars go by and the birds and other clouds. Feeling gentle sunlight upon us and the vast blue sky all around us and down below all the goings on of the world that we don't have to have anything to do with right now.
as thoughts arise, to feel them gently falling on either side of you, down, 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 just disappearing towards the earth. Like a raindrop evaporating on its way down. You may even feel yourself relaxing, any muscle tension being released if you just let go and just let the world do whatever it's doing. There's nothing, nothing, nothing for us to do about it right now. We have no responsibility for it in this moment. Nothing needs to be done. No problems need to be solved. And just bathing in this light, relaxing on this cloud. In this space where we're letting everything go, we're by our action of being here, resting in that peace of our center. We are affirming our natural state. We are affirming our peace. We are affirming our higher state of mind.
As we continue to let every thought go, every idea, every emotion, just let it gently fall to the ground below. We don't even have to watch it fall, we just feel it falling and evaporating. We are affirming in the state that we don't have to be involved in anything, any problem solving, any activity to be at peace. And then when we do enter the activity that belongs to us, it's our responsibility. We re-engage from this clearer space. And in this light, this calm center, we have everything that we need. Even if we're not aware of it yet, it's there. There's this unending flow of light and love that we're accessing right now, we can access any time. That supports us through our day, through our week. And the more we tap into it, the greater the support it is to us, more consciously even. Allow yourself to feel the love and gratitude for this inner state of being, which is you, which is that 
higher mind, the wise mind, the higher self, the observer self, the witness, call it whatever you'd like to call it. It's the consciousness of us that knows better than the emotions that arise, the fears, the anger, the righteousness, the sadness or disappointment or any of, any of those thoughts and emotions we have that get attached to what's going on on the outside, the flashy, shiny things. And we feel that power of the center of us right now that is more valuable than any shiny, flashy thing that could show up in our world. And that's the value we take with us today. If you can continue with your meditation time, I invite you and encourage you to do so. And if you need to re-engage in the world on the ground, <laughs> just feel your feet on the floor and take a couple of deep breaths to help ground that energy, that light. Let it fill every cell of your body. Take another couple of deep breaths to help yourself switch gears. We take this forward with us, the center, this light. And I thank you for joining all of us today and adding your light to this. It really, really does enhance a meditation time to have many people meditating at once and bringing energy in a common direction. We're all swimming in the same direction. Have a wonderful week, and I will look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye for now.